Hey everyone, welcome in to Loophole Live. I'm your host, Nick. Uh, we've been away for a little bit. I think we, we were just talking about this. It's been two months, I think, since we we're on air. We've been busy, we've been uh, making scopes, making all our products. It's also hunting season. It was also, it's also the- You're blaming uh, it, blame uh, it on hunting season. It's, it's hunting season. Really? Well, we'll, that's, we'll, my, we'll, that's my line. We'll get into that a little <laughs> bit here. Uh, it's also, you know, PRS, NRL finale. It's just been crazy. So uh, welcome back. We're excited to do these. We love talking to you guys. Um, joining me today is Janos. Uh, Great to be back. It's been much longer than a, a couple months for right. me. So. Hey, you've been on one of yeah, these, right? Yeah, it was much earlier in the year. Yeah, yeah. You so, ran out of everyone else, so I'm back. We went to the bullpen, way in way the back in the of back. the bullpen. Called up Janos. He's good to go. Uh, so, uh, Janos, actually, you've been busy hunting too. Yes. I want to talk a little bit about that. Yeah, yeah. So you had a you maybe had a, I don't, but go. You had like a nine day hunt, right? We had a very we had an awesome hunt. Yeah. Except for the tagging out part. <laughs> But that's how it goes. Eastern right? Oregon elk. Yeah. If they're not there, they're just not there. Yeah. We had one. We had we had we had one one success. Yeah. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah. but as you guys know, that's the way it goes. Sometimes hunting turns into long walks or hiking with with guns in your. I hand. came back and my boss says, "Hey, you lost some weight. So what are you saying the rest <laughs> of the time?" So. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. So uh, you guys share your stories with us too. We actually we got comments going right here. I got live comments. Uh, so type your questions in. Um, also. Uh, with it being hunting season, we know you guys are posting a lot on social media, Facebook, Instagram, that kind of stuff. Definitely tag Loophold Optics. Uh, we love to see your posts, see what you guys are doing out there. Um, super exciting. Uh, speaking of promotions and, and tagging stuff on social media, I just wanted to touch on the Rock the Reticle uh, Instagram That's giveaway awesome. real quick. Awesome um, response I, that. I wanted to get that out there. So uh, Scott, our brainchild behind our social media, uh, dreamed this up. Basically, we want to see where you put your Loophold stickers, right? Um, that's well, we, yes, yes, <laughs> 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 you know, coolers, the back of the truck, your gun case, your safe, whatever, uh, and tag it with rock the reticle. If you don't have a loophole sticker, we can get you one. Yeah. You go on the website. We actually will send you a sticker and you can put it anywhere, take a picture of it. Um, more details awesome. on, on the website there. So I, that's really, we're that's seeing, really we're cool. seeing a lot of stickers on the road. We're out hunting and we're, you know, it's awesome to see yeah. you guys representing the brand. Yeah. It's awesome. cool. It's cool driving around seeing the, seeing in the, the wild stickers in the wild. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, really exciting. But the reason we're here today is it's getting to be that time of year. And yes. we want to talk about uh, the season, the gift giving season, right? And sometimes- From your heart. From your heart, right? No matter what you celebrate, you're probably given some kind of gift this year. Um, and sometimes it's hard to figure out what to give someone. I know I, I personally, people in my family complain about me because I'm hard to buy gifts for because I'm very particular about the You just the buy stuff. and give them a receipt. <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So but here's my wish list. Yeah, with, here's with my wish list, number. right? Yeah, so your, your uh, Amazon wish list or your loophole wish list here, right? So um, we wanna talk about some cool products that we have that we think fit the bill for for those gifts. I like a few right? of these on my wish list. Right, yeah, so, so if, if, you're, if, you're, if you're lucky enough, right? <laughs> Um, there were some questions, uh, guys being like, can I, you know, I, I want a Mark V for Christmas. Hmm. If your family's giving you Mark Vs for Christmas, you got, you know, you're, you're lucky. Sign me up. Yeah, sign me up. Yeah, can I be adopted? Um, so, uh, but we, we want- great stuff here. Yeah. Right, we, great stuff. So let's go down the, uh, well, I, I want to start like kind of at the, we call it entry level, right? Sure. But, you know, maybe oh. maybe uh, a lot of, you know, you're, you're buying like a 22, like for your son or something like that, you know, or, or daughter, you know, sure. whoever. Or you got a rifle that doesn't have a scope on it. Or, yeah, exactly. So or you want to upgrade the scope you have that you're not happy with. Yeah. And, and get one of ours. Right. So the VX Freedom is a great place to start. Um, and specifically the one with the uh, CDS dial. 100%, the, you know, the Freedom has been just such a success for us. It's an award-winning scope. It's made right here in Beaverton, Oregon. And what's really awesome about this one, this is the CDS version, which as you guys know is really, well, I'm not great at math. <laughs> you know, you show me some, a legal buck and trying to do mill or MOM and my heart sputters, but right. CDS, you get a ballistic dial etched. Yeah, you're good to go. Especially with those new hunters, maybe getting introduced into it, new shooters. Um, you know, you're, you're thinking about all the fundamentals of actually shooting, and then adding that ballistic calculation in there is a little overwhelming. So, so, so if you didn't get one on the, your hunting season wish list, get yes. one on your holiday season wish list. Yeah, we still have a fifty dollars savings on these. Right, there are some savings right going on right now. So, so see a retailer, go online, check it out. This is an awesome, awesome product, which and makes that 
ridiculous. I, the, and think about the freedom, and I always talk about this when I take people around on tours through the building, is when we talk about the optics portion of the, the freedom, um, optically, I would take this scope over a lot of thousand dollar scopes that I see uh, in the in the gun shop right next to it. Right? Absolutely, um, it's, it's built just as ruggedly as a Mark V. <laughs> rugged, uh, clear. Uh, I I still can't believe at that price point, like we can build a scope like that. So no. yeah, yeah. Uh, stepping up from there. We do have our VX3i also. I believe there's savings going on on that one as yes. well, right? There's. Um, there will be savings on the three eyes. Uh, there's a three, I believe, three SKUs, a three and a half to tens, uh, 40s are most popular SKUs. Hundred dollar savings. Hundred yeah. dollar savings now. Right. And that I, I made my notes here. Yeah, so, you got the schedule here. Yeah, it, it now is in like tomorrow now. So that <laughs> that's going to run that's through run through end of the year. Hundred dollar savings on three and a half to ten, 40, a four and a half to fourteen CDS, mm -hmm. and a four and a half to fourteen by fifty. A little bit bigger objective on that last one. Yep. And those are. Those are just well, our bread and butter of the lineup. I yeah, mean, exactly. So you can't you can't go wrong with one of these. But maybe uh, maybe you want something more like a stocking stuffer type. Uh, uh, you know, on the other side of the ball, we actually have a lot of products on loopholdshop.com. If you guys mm -hmm. aren't familiar with it, uh, so. Um, maybe, again, maybe that's not in your price range. Maybe you just want to get uh, someone in your family a hat. Maybe yeah. a bino harness, right? So a lot of people don't know that we have accessories like these, that. These are in our pro gear lineup. Right. Um, our product team came up with a great lineup a couple years ago. There's everything from an optics go bag and recon bag, a sling bag. This is a bino harness. Takes all the weight off your neck. You don't want to carry a binocular around your neck with that yeah. neck strap. For nine days, out, uh, wake it up every day and hiking 10 miles a day. Uh, this is what I had. Yeah, right. So you definitely want to use a bino harness. Uh, this is a great solution to that. Um, there's way more stuff, on, like like Yana was saying, on loopholdshop.com. And I believe there's going to be some deals going on. Are there? Uh, maybe for Black Friday. Maybe. So you guys will definitely want to check in on that. Uh, we, there's going to be some smoking deals on there. So you can get your loophole gear, like hats. So this hat, that hat, sweatshirts, um, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, uh, check it out if you guys haven't. Moving down the line, um, also wanted to talk about the RDS here. We, we, we talked about award winning, so the VX Freedom you know, has, has won multiple awards. The RDS just won Just award, won, right? uh, you know, a lot of media, media writer association, they were a very competitive field. And what we innovated with this red dot is we added a ballistic dial, just like we've got on the Freedoms and the Three Eyes and the rest of the lineup too. This one's calibrated at 55 grain, 223. Mm -hmm. You're good to go with this red dot to 400 yards. It's a one MOA. Yeah. So that, that's at that price point, people are really surprised that you get a one MOA dot. Usually, that's reserved for higher yes. price point red dots. And the, this thing is so tough. It's tough. It, it's it's incredibly clear. Um, the precise red dot. It comes with the mount. Which uh, I have multiple times, you know, I'll take it out the shoots and I'll show guys, and we'll just take it from rifle to rifle to rifle. And it's funny because you can just mount it up, it comes you, out of the box like that, you mount up, you don't even bore sight or anything, you just stick it on there, shoot, and you're usually minute, within a minute, minute of deer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're usually right on. And you make a couple adjustments and then you're, then you're zeroed. So um, it's an incredibly uh, impressive red dot for, for, for that sure. price. Point. Really proud of that product. Uh, yeah, really proud of that product. Has the motion sensor technology, um, the illumination control. Motion sensor is cool. You set it down for five minutes, turns off automatically, saves battery life. Pick it back up, turns back on. Good to go. Uh, good to go. So uh, check it out uh, if you guys haven't yet. Uh, also, on the observation, mm. you know, uh, side of the ball here. Spent a lot of time glassing on those elk hunts. Observations, yeah, it's one of those things that sometimes you don't think about. May, yeah. Maybe binos are a secondary tertiary purchase. You right? really need them. If you, if, if, even if you're, if you're hunting whitetail and you're just picking that a 170 over a 150 or a 140 over a 110, whatever mm -hmm. you're looking for, you want to maximize that hunt. Yeah. I spend 90% of my time looking through optics, it's through binoculars, maybe 95%. Right, right. And if you're looking for something, maybe uh, again, for the gift giving season that won't break the bank, Ooh. the BX2 Alpines are. Are, are the way to go, I think. These have been just so well received. Gorgeous design, yeah. um, great optics, it's a magnesium chassis, right. fused yeah. armor coating. This really punches above the weight class. We really, 
we really hit a home run with this. We knew we were we needed to have a winner in that price segment, that under three hundred dollar price point. Yeah, and this has right. just been crushing it for us. Yeah, um, you can hardly keep them in Hard, stock well, on the shelf, right? They're out there. If you can find one, get one. Yeah, they, they're yeah. So yeah. so uh, I know they're out there in the channel. Uh, again, incredibly popular binocular. Like he said, magnesium. Like for that price, a magnesium very lightweight, chassis, very bright, uh, really rugged too. And so. it's got. The way it was designed, mm -hmm. we get into the little t technical portion of it. it. It's designed really for maximum eye relief. I wear glasses. I, I've got, I'm nearsighted, so I've always got the eye cups down. These have retractable eye cups. Low fatigue. I can. I've used these for hours and hours. And you're just glassing. Very lightweight. They center up really well. Great inner pupillary adjustment. Uh, f phenomenal pair of glasses. Yeah. Uh, questions coming in. Wanted to jump to these a little bit here too. You know, uh, uh, spruce these in. So, uh, oh, just a shout out, William James Thornton just picked up a Mark V HD well, uh, for you. competition, will be a loophole customer for life. So, that Mark V HD, if you haven't looked at it, well, we don't have it here because we're not really talking about the, the, the higher end, but man, look at a Mark V HD. It's winning. It's, I mean, it's guys winning. Guys on the line are winning with it. Yep. So, uh, yeah. multiple wins this year. Uh, all our, our pro shooters have won competitions with the Mark V HD. Um, and at when you get to that premium level of it's scope, competitive. it's actually it's, the best value yeah, in, in that category. Um, so really cool. Uh, let's see, lots of people asking what rifle you recommend for a 308 or a 30 out six. What rifle? Huh? So what rifle scope? Well, yeah, or rifle scope. You know, depends. It depends on a lot of factors. Uh, we have. Oh, that's right. Uh, Scott just reminded me. We have an optics finder on loophole.com. So Easy to navigate. Yeah, if you just bought a new rifle, I know that's a lot of questions that we get is, hey, I just got this 270 or I just got this new 6.5 Creedmoor, whatever you guys are shooting. Um, go on the optics finder uh, part. We have our hunting scopes and tactical scopes, so kind of segmented by that. Uh, you answer a few easy questions and it'll kind of drill you down to yeah, I mean, some choices. Really the best, you know, this is the often overused, you know, would you rather have a $100 rifle with a $1,000 scope or a $1,000 rifle with a $100 scope, right? But yeah, that's the... You I, know, so if you can get a VX5, which is also on savings, yeah, a, a 3 to 15 VX5 yeah. would be phenomenal. Yeah. That would be an, an everywhere long range to... And it fits perfectly. Hardwoods anywhere. Even if you're buying a $300, $400 out of the box rifle, they're pretty, oh. uh, they're pretty good these days. And more people are spending more money on the optics, usually, than the rifle now. It's kind of flipped from how it used to be, right? I, bu uh, I bought my wife. She has a 6.5 Creedmoor, a little lightweight hunting rifle. I actually got her a VX3i. Mm -hmm. There you the go. CDS. Yeah. Which... Uh, I may hunt with that. Which time. someone had asked. That's a good segue. Uh, I want to find the question here. They were asking about lightweight uh, scopes. Good. good segue. Do, 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 do. Oh, here we go. Uh, Monroe Caleb, what is the lightest scope with the CDS you guys have? Um, I don't know off the top of my head which one is the lightest one, but the I bet a, maybe a two and a half to eight. I was thinking a two and a half to eight, or so. maybe, maybe maybe a Freedom. Yeah, a Freedom. Uh, uh, do we have the two to seven? Does the CDS yeah, come on no. two to seven? No, so it'd be a three, three to nine. nine. The cool thing about loophole is when you're looking at weights and you're trying to save weight, pretty much across the board they're going to be the lightest scopes in their category. Hands down, like a Mark V is like a pound lighter than... It's ridiculous. It, yeah, you, you, it's a huge scope. You pick it up and you expect it to be way heavier than it if is. If you guys hike and you hunt and you carry the thing around, I tell you, you get in a mile, you're pulling stuff out of your pack. And if you haven't pulled it out, left on the trail, you're not taking on the, on the next day's hunt. Right, exactly. So, so um, I know lightweight is really a uh, focus for a lot of uh, people out there. Um, especially the backcountry hunters. Lightweight stocks, hunters. barrels, yeah. everything. Ounces equal pounds, they always say that. Uh, but uh, it also goes into the performance of the scope and the quality of the scope. We're all using uh, aluminum on the inside as well as the outside, all the parts that we machine in-house here. Um, so uh, that goes to the lightweightness and the quality and the build of the scope. So um, I encourage you, go to a gun shop, pick up a bunch of scopes and see how much they but weigh different. pretty light. It'll be crazy. That's yeah, pretty yeah, light too. It has CDS. It has work. CDS. Yep, so good uh, good question there. Um, let's see, let's take a couple more questions here. Um, any plans for a 22 rim fire scope with a BDC reticle? Hmm, I, you know, I haven't heard that we have anything. We do have 
some rimfire, rimfire scopes. We have uh, rimfire freedom. Yep, that have the MOA yes. um, um, holdovers, which actually work really, really well. Did you shoot long range with that? We we, we, like we can shoot out. I, I think at the sales meeting we shot out to like 70, 100 yards with it, yeah. using those holdovers. Now they're just an in MOA increments. Yes. But you can cali you can figure out what your drops are on whatever or 40 grain round or whatever, you're yeah. shooting. Yeah. yeah. BDC reticles are difficult because everyone's shooting different grains, uh, uh, you know, different ammo. Um, so that MOA is actually a better solution to that. Uh, because if you do switch up ammo, then you can your, your reticle you, still you, works. Correct. Right? You can do the math. Yeah. So that's a, that's a good question there. Um, let's get back to, uh, we had a couple questions actually about range finders. So uh, okay. we also want to talk a bit about uh, our range finder lineup, which I, you know, biased, obviously. Our range finders are the best in the business, Listen, hands down. And the reason, the, 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 the signal processing, the speed, and really the secret sauce, that black box technology, that true ballistic range that's incorporated into each range finder is the ballistic advantage mm -hmm. when you're shooting or hunting long distance. Yep. I, I, I always talk to people about the uh, yardages that are pasted on these, right? Yep. You see some that are 3,000 yards, 4,000 yards, sounds really impressive. It's about the performance in the real world. And those distances are on reflective metal kind of stop sign-ish targets, right, that they use for testing that don't exist in the real world. So we need to we need to take that in consideration when we're talking about performance. This is a true 1600 yard range finder right. in the field. Yeah, on, on rocks yeah. and trees and yeah. deer, this stuff is gonna blow everything else out of the water. And we have the a 2800. That, yep, we have the 2800. 20 so uh, yeah. someone asked, yeah. uh, ZF, uh, or Z Fed Dinch, I'm, I'm probably screwing that name up. Uh, best all round rangefinder uh, that can do it in archery and long distance gun. Uh, 1600. 1600, right? That's the one we have right there. So that does have archery. Uh, uh, you, can, you can use it yeah. for BOMO, or yeah, you can use it for archery. Um, 1600 yards, you can use it for long guns. It has the TBR the true ballistic range, uh, the ballistic calculations. It's a br great viewfinder also. It has an yeah. OLED display. You can power that up up and down and it seems like, well, you know, when you know, if you're going out early and you're in the stand or you're, you know, you're you're on super low power or you're and during the day you got to power that thing up cuz now it's 2, 3, 4 in the afternoon and you and that display has the highest amount of light transmission. So That's it's a, super bright. Yeah, no, another great point is because some of those range finders, uh, yes, they have long yardages, uh, but they're kind of they're really dark. Yeah. And and actually, when you start talking about those extreme distances, uh, how do I know what I'm ranging if I can't really see if it doesn't have you, good light? You know, transmission if, you, if wherever that. you guys are shopping, you're sh shopping at your local gun shop or your your chain store. If you can, I you know, and if they allow you, take it outside. You know, go there after work, especially right now. You know, it's dark at five five. You know, five thirty. Take our binocular outside, take our rangefinder outside, take our scopes outside, mm -hmm. and compare them with everything else, real yeah. world, and yeah. you'll see. You'll see You'll see in the shadows how we perform. Yep, uh, that's that's where we excel, for sure. Um, couple, couple good questions come in here. EC, Eric, I've never had an optic of any type. What would you recommend for a newbie? So uh, first, Eric, thank you for uh, tuning in and considering loophole for your first optic. That's, that's really cool. Um, uh, honestly, that VX Freedom that we were talking I about, I, Freedom CDS, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what uh, rifle you're going to put it on, but uh, that uh, the BX2 Alpine probably and a Freedom, that's going to get you set up, and you're not going to have the buyer's remorse that I kind of feel some people end up if they're trying to get into it. Um, you know, maybe they go for the the fifty dollar bino, and you know, you're, you're, it's and and, and you wind up it, those wind up, yeah. It, under the seat. Yeah. You know, yeah. you don't you you know, like ah, I don't care about those anymore. Maybe they break and get a, a good one next time. <laughs> right. You want to you want to you regift them the You want to have some you want to make a good purchase the yeah. first time. We're not saying, you know, we know it's a holiday season, but between a Freedom and and a and a uh, Alpine, you're about $500, maybe $600. Yeah. For a really quality set of rings, piece of kit and it's part of your system. Yeah, your rifle, your scope, your binocular, your rangefinder. Right. That you're not, you're not, you're not going to outgrow. Yeah. And you're not going to get rid of. Yeah, you might, it's a lot of money. But you might upgrade. You might get a VX5 or something in the future. But you're going to, yeah. you're not going to get rid of these. You're going to take these, put it on a different gun, keep using them. It's, uh, it's, it's a quality investment. I think. Well is said. What we're trying to say, right? Um, let's see. Do, 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 Madman, uh, what would you recommend for an AR-15 for a first timer? So a lot of first timers out there. Uh, we had already talked about that. I got another one. Freedom RDS. We don't have it on the table here. Yeah. RDS would be great. Yeah. 
But if you want a magnified optic, mm -hmm. we're still making the XR patrols. Oh yeah, that's right. VXRs and VXR patrols. So yeah. those are going to kind of go through the end of the year here. We're going to keep running the machines till uh, till we're out of making making those scopes. Yeah. So They're out there. So great savings on those. Yeah, great savings. One and a quarter to four. Yes. So you get up to four power. It has the fire dot reticle, yes. which acts like a red dot. So even on one and a quarter power, uh, it pretty much feels like one power. So you kind of have your red dot, and then you can bump up the magnification for longer longer distances. So uh, yeah, Giannis made a really good point. I think I did. Well, thank you. You did. <laughs> yeah, it's on. It's on but camera. That's the one. It's documented, and Nick, I can't Nick take it back. Nick just said nice things about I me. I can't take it back. Um, <laughs> let's see. Will uh, uh, Clark Chevy? Will my VX1 three to nine by forty uh, three to nine by four? Excuse me. Be okay on an AR? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we actually have um, now. The VX1 is obviously a, a sure slightly old. older model. Uh, it's going to work just fine. If uh, Punisher tested. Yeah, Punisher tested. If you are looking for a newer scope, we have our VX Freedom line that actually has AR models specific in that VX Freedom line too. Yes. So 3.9 by 40, no problem. Uh, tangent on that, uh, we test all our scopes to the same testing standards. So no matter what rifle you're going to put it on, it's going to perform. I can take this $200 scope, put it on a super lightweight, heavy hitting Magnum uh, rifle, it's going to be just fine. So yeah, like three and a half times the recoil of a 308. It, it's it's a lot of a lot of foot pounds. You're not yeah the 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 impact test we do you wouldn't want to shoot that rifle. It would hurt. <laughs> you would have a concussion for sure. Um, do, 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 let's see. Oh, what would uh, <laughs> your boy Wentland? Uh, what would be a great hunting optic for a Henry repeater chambered in 44 oh, Magnum? I kind of like that. That's an oddball one. I, I, like, I like those questions. Yeah, I like that. I would probably go with the low power freedom. I go with a probably low power freedom for that. Yeah, like a two to seven or a one to four. That'd be a good choice. Something like that. I, I Henry's on my list. I don't have a Henry. You want one of the. the I want, the, you need I'll, the brass. I want, want the, the brass, brass with the lever action. Octagonal barrel. Yeah, you just, That'd be pretty Every trick. boy living out their Wild West cowboy dreams, right? So uh, that's that's on cool. that's on my list of uh, things to get there. Maybe not the 44 Magnum nice one, gun. but yeah. That's a nice deer gun. Yeah, uh, people go hunting with them here. I oh, mean, yeah. uh, uh, like uh, using a brush gun uh, in the coast well, range there. Well, if you so. don't mind, if you guys are up in any of the, the straight wall states, our 450 Bushmaster has been doing great. That's available in the Freedom, and we mm -hmm. have a 350 Legend as well in the Freedom series. Yep, for sure. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Huckleberry Joseph just said spotting scope? Question oh. mark? We got, we got spotting scopes. Uh, other guys had questions too on it. Uh, uh, so, Sizaram recommendation on a spotting scope. Oh, okay. A lot of spotting scope questions. So, if you hadn't seen, uh, we have one here. We got a couple new models. We've out. launched a lot of great spotters in the last year. We we, yeah. we revamped the really whole line's new. our, our uh, spotting scopes. So yeah, take it away. So, we had the SX5 Sandy Yams, which are uh, uh, ultra high end, really amazing color fidelity, great sharpness, great field of view, great light transmission. That came out last year. Those are running in that uh, fifteen to seventeen hundred dollar uh, retail price. These are a new SX4 Pro guides. These just launched a few months ago. Mm -hmm. We've got an eighty five and a and a, and a sixty mil version. These are under a thousand dollars. Yep. And I tell you, they're super close to what the Sandy Am's terrific. Yep. But these are really, really awesome. Yeah, very close for the price. For the price, if you're looking for a value, um, I'd say I'd go with one of the pro guides. Yep, and that's can the, you see that? That's or the big boy back. there. Two models. Two models. Yes, there are two models. Yep. There's angle and straight as well. Yep. So any whatever flavor you want, we got it there. Uh, that SX4 pro guide. Um, and as a legacy product, there's still Ventanas in the lineup. Yep. And those are also on savings at major retailers. So if you can, if you want to get a Ventana, you're probably in that, you know, under under four hundred dollar price range, under five, you know, right in there. Yep, Ventana would be a good. Yeah, choice. yeah. Speaking of legacy ones, too, uh, Simbad sent in a question yesterday. Thank you for that. Uh, he was just asking which spotting scope we sell the most of, and uh, I think we're starting to sell more of those those SX fives and XS, yes. XX XXs. But man. You go to any shooting range, and you're going to see 12 to 40 by 60s. That's the that's I the mean, standard. It, and, but because it's been out uh, for a long time, it is the standard. I, I still love that spawning scope. Bright, light. Yep. It's got the yep. folded light path, really compact, magnesium body, really light and durable. And uh, I saw a um, little, little uh, uh, teaser going into next year. They're bringing back the 
Uh, if you guys want the H32 and the H36s, yes. the yep. reticles. Uh, long range precision. Yep, yeah. I know all the long range precision guys like those reticles in the spotter. Uh, those are coming back in the lineup, so I, I was super excited about that. So uh, definitely. Did don't you have any influence on that? I had no. Uh, uh, you know, I have no influence. Uh, on I <laughs> no, I, I might have. I might have said nudged. that a few times, <laughs> nudged. You know, a little bit. So um, let's see. This is a good question. Uh, what's the difference uh, between a VX5 HD and a Mark 5 HD? So. Oh yeah. Well, that's two different chassis. I mean, if you want. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, so so they're both yeah. five times erector systems. That's where the number comes from, right? Uh, but they are designed for two different applications, so to speak. Uh, the VX5 HD is much more your hunting centric scope. Yes. It's a rear focal. Uh, it has locking turrets. Uh, but you can only you uh, 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 dial two revolutions on Correct. it. Correct. But that is every hunting situation Three you're going to have. Three to fifteens, two to tens. Two revolutions those. is going to be just fine, right? Um, I de you know you could definitely take a VX5 HD and go shoot long range. And we have some quarter twenties now. We have some longer range VX5s. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where the Mark V HD was definitely uh, designed more for your uh, long range precision shooter tactical. You know, it's got the three revolution zero lock dial on it. The reticles are much more uh, specific to that uh, impact you know, reticles. Yeah, yeah. That, the Christmas tree grid style reticles, right? Um, and front focal. If you and front focal, yeah. but we, we have rear focal ones now too. Because I know, well. you know, there's there's a lot of crossover that goes on, and some guys uh, uh, and gals like the Mark V HD, but they also want to use it for a hunting application as well. So you know, we listen and we're like, hey, we'll make some rear focal. And ones. I've done that. I hunted with a 308 and last year with the Mark V, and it's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. It's super bright and yep. it delivered. Yep. So also, uh, VX5 uh, HD just comes in MOA. Yeah. Uh, so if you're familiar with MOA, that's you know maybe the way you want to go. Uh, though now on the Mark V HD, we do have MOA versions of that too. So there's a lot of people out there who like to shoot long range. And also look at the illumination system if you want to fire dot yep. duplex. Yeah, 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 yeah. Simpler illumination on the, on the VX5, a little more complicated. You know, illuminates more of the reticle on the uh, Mark V. So there are your main differences there for sure. Um, <laughs> Tater uh, Trawick 44, will I wake up Christmas morning with a new rifle scope in my stocking? I don't know, you gotta get your list into the elves. Yeah, have you guys been good this year or not? So, uh, it, yeah. You don't want a bucket of coal in your sock. These do, you know, uh, lend themselves to being in stockings, it, right? Like I have, dimensionally. I have taken them in socks. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, if you can, you, yeah, pro tip, if you can't find a scope cover, yeah, a sock a works sock. really well to you transport scopes in. Yeah, we've used that a couple of times. Um, oh yeah, uh, Scott wanted me to mention, uh, remember that uh, all these, sans the rangefinder, have a lifetime uh, guarantee well on said. them, right? So we, we, we that's, the, that's the buy once, cry once, not even cry once, because you got you know, it's really savings going on. It's a, it's a performance on. guarantee. Yeah, that, that's it's what it is. It's going to work for you. You know, you're you're away. You're out there hunting. You're, you're you're even if you're just a couple hours from home. If it goes down and something breaks, like we don't want them to break. No, we, we want them to perform. No, in the field. Yeah, and that so. that that goes back to the the engineering and the testing and the everything. It's all done up uh, front. Uh, the 700 people you know in this building who make that happen. Um, it it speaks to the quality of the product. How how bad would that to be? Like wake up Christmas Day, I get my new scope, I go mount it, and you know something goes boing, wrong boy, <laughs> yeah, something pops off, right? Not, not not here. Not here. That's not what we're about. Um, Henry Fishing or Henry Fishing uh, made me sound like I have a list there. What is the best scope for deep thick woods? Also durable. So we just talked about mm. the durability factor. Durability. Across the board, I'm not going to worry about durability. Uh, uh, but for uh, deep woods, maybe what a would two you? Two to seven, yeah. Know, maybe with a two to seven. Two to seven, a or one to one to four. Yeah. Um, two, two, and a, two and a half to eight. Two and a half to eight. I. That's a sleeper. I have people come up to yeah, me at trade shows, and that's the that's the, if I had to say loophole a loophole scope that has a cult following, <laughs> that would be a two, two and, and a half, half to eight. eight. They're like, I got two and a half to eights on everything. Actually, I was just in Georgia the other month, and we were we went to this little restaurant on the uh, Georgia Alabama line, and well, we're wearing loophole stuff. Of course, so you the are. owner put together that we're with loophole, and he had two and a half to eights on everything. Everything young, two and a half to eight. In Georgia, Georgia. That's so, where. Uh, 
So, so that it's one of the brightest. Be... It's one of the, our one of our brightest scopes has a very forgiving eye box. Yeah, you know, eight power. You can shoot. You can shoot to a thousand yards at eight power if you need to. <sighs> I mean, you're fine. I mean, people, you can do everything. People been using two and a half and if, up to eight power for a long time. A, if you're uh, hunting out of a stand, you want to be at that two and a half setting. And I'd take it anywhere. I, I'd yeah. use that scope for anything. Uh, Aggie Monster Twenty Six scope for SPR build. Uh, SPR, you're probably, I, I would probably do a, a, an LPVO, low, low power variable optic, back to that VXR one and a quarter to four, something like that. We also have, you know, VX5 HD and VX6 HD. We have a one to five and a one to six. Those are great options for that too, especially that VX6 uh, HD one to Very six. Very nice. Um, yeah, that would be, that'd be something to think about. Uh, Cruz Christensen, will the DP Pro be on sale? Ooh. Uh, yeah. We're, I don't think we're running I, any No, uh, we're, not, we're not. Actually, I'll tell you, the Delta Point Pro in the last you know, couple years now, when we entered the market, you know, it's crowded, right? And it really broke loose. People saw it for the value that it performs, that big window, very bright, parallax free. We actually, at this moment, we can't make enough of them right now. Uh, no. We, we are, we're putting on another shift to make Delta Point Pros. Because um, people get it. I mean, it's on. It goes on turkey guns. It goes mm -hmm. on SBRs. It goes on a PCC. It goes on optics ready pistols. So it, it's one of my favorite products it is that we make. One of the best products. And I don't know if you guys don't follow Coleon uh, Noir. Uh, follow him. Check out his post he made yesterday. Uh, that's a little teaser for something to come really? in 2020. Okay. There. A right. uh, little different color, you know, way. So there's some other stuff happening with the DP Pro that's kind of exciting that'll be coming out uh, uh, first of the year 2020. Cool. So. Little, little teaser there. Um, yeah, oh, uh, yeah, Scott, Scott's sending me reminders here. Also, uh, they're guaranteed for life, uh, but if you have, ever have any issues, you can send them back and we'll take care of you. Uh, that's, um, he's, he's shaking his head. That was in a response. <laughs> uh, that was in a response? Oh, oh sorry, I, I, I screwed that one up. Um, let's see. Oh, 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 sorry. I didn't scroll up to the question. Debating between your BX5 HDs and Suaro SLCs. Ooh. Want to stick with loophole, but what is the better glass? <sighs> hmm, that's a, that's a wow, good question. Wow, that's calling out the... <sighs> you know, I, I will say, you know, I, you can't say that Suaro doesn't make good glass. You know, obviously they yeah, do. Yeah, they're well known. But if you haven't looked yeah. at the BX5s, um, actually, I, I, this reminds me of a conversation I had. I was at a, uh, a shooting match in Georgia. I forget the one. Oh, the um, uh, Masterpiece Arms okay. uh, Summer Shootout. Someone had some Suaros, 15 powers, and we had our BX5 uh, 15 powers That's, right next to each I other. Tell you. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, it, you know, they handle low light, glare really well. You know, side by side, people were going, you know, I had a line of people going, looking at the Swarrows. It's hard. Look at the BX5s. And I think we're a better value. I think I'll we're say, better. I think we're a better value. Yeah. I, you know, we're not going to disparage anyone else out there. I have, yeah. I've actually, I'll have a 1042 Sany Am and I'll have a 15 by 56 for if you're glassing long range, mm -hmm. you can cover literally miles of country. Yep. And it's sharp to the edge. It has great color fidelity. I, I love those 15s. Yep. On the guys can tell. Take the, a look. Guys can tell the difference in image, and for the price difference, like you were saying, the value part of that, um, I, I'd go BX5 Run all day, yeah. every day. Yeah. So uh, that's a great question. And uh, again, if you haven't looked at that line uh, of, of binoculars, BX4, BX5. Um, definitely check them out. You know, we've had them out for a couple of years the, now. The, yeah. the prescriptions are just like our scope. So we have yeah. the Twilight Max HD coatings. It's optimized for low light. It's optimized to see browns and greens in the shadows. Mm -hmm. It's designed for game. Um, your, your, your eyes won't lie. You'll, you'll, you'll see and you'll, you'll make the right choice. Yeah. For sure of that. Uh, one last question, um, Connor Weiss. Uh, what is your guys' highest power scope? So I had to think about that for a minute. Competition, oh. fixed 45 power. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, we don't talk about that one too much, but uh, Bentress guys still love that F -class, scope. Yeah, yeah F-Class. Uh, also the Mark V HD, 7 to 35. Yes. And VX5 HD, 7 to 35. So there's some new 7 to 35 power scopes out there if you're looking for that high powered scope. Um, that's a great option. I'm glad you answered that. I probably would have been stumped on the competition. For yeah, you're right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, uh, and be uh, you know, and don't don't necessarily think that going to the highest power is always the best uh, bet. Um, sometimes you'll I, I'll see scopes. I don't want to talk to bad about anyone else's scope, but maybe if it if it goes up to 60 power, can you really use it on 60 power? Because you know you're dealing so. with all the the heat and the mirage, and if you're at 45, yep. you're at redline. Yeah. 
Yep. You can't you can't downshift. For, You're just <laughs> for sure. So seven to thirty five would probably be. Yep. So something just take into yeah, consideration when when you when you're thinking about high uh, magnification scopes like that. So uh, so cool. Um, I think we kind of covered everything we have on the table here. Again, um, don't you know you know loophole makes a really good gift for that person in your life who may be hard to to shop for i think uh if any of these showed up uh, under the tree christmas morning uh someone would be super i would be pleased super You'd duper be pleased. excited i would be pleased. <laughs> you guys would be pleased <laughs> yeah so uh yeah something to consider oh you know what i remember this it's it's sitting over oh. here we didn't talk about this bad boy right here it's a hot one uh so we got our quest uh quest here uh lto quest um, thermal. Some people don't know. We got thermal. Um, this is a handheld thermal device, right? Yes. So how? There's how, a couple. We have a couple versions. We have the LTO uh, Quest, and we have the trackers. The trackers are they look like our scopes, but they're not rifle rated. This though is more of a handheld. Kind of works like a smartphone. So you're kind of looking down. If you're out there and you, if it's legal for you to kind of spot game or retrieve game, yep. this is a game changer. Yeah. Because you you know it's. It's picking up blood. It's picking up stuff on the ground. It takes photos too. This takes photos. It's um, has it, it's got a flashlight. Flashlight. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you know, uh, camping, outdoor adventure stuff, uh, home defense. Uh, geez, you want to see? And it's winter time. You want to see where you're losing heat in your where house? Where are you losing heat during winter? <laughs> run this thing around your attic and, and the outside of your house, and you'll see where the. I mean, m the dollars are leaving. Right. They're so the there, roof, there's so. so many uses for that. Uh, it, it to the point of. Just having fun with your friends, seeing how cold that that beer is next to the other beer. Uh, there's there's so much cool stuff that you can do with that. Uh, hour, yeah, don't give me a warm beer, Nick. Hours of entertainment, right? Um, so uh, one more reminder on that rock the reticle giveaway on Instagram. Uh, we're actually giving away a Pro Guide HD observation pack, cool. which is one of these and, and one, of these? one of these. So uh, BX4 Pro Guide binocular, uh, SX4 uh, Pro Guide spotter. That's a, that's a nice kit. That's a nice kit. <laughs> I mean, I, I wish I could enter, but I don't think I'm uh, able to. Uh, we're also doing weekly giveaways for the best photo. Uh, I believe, Scott, correct me if I'm wrong, for the weekly giveaways, we're doing some loophole gear. Uh, so it's going to be some hats, some shirts, uh, stuff like that. Uh, so you definitely have a chance to win that. Ends December 31st. So uh, uh, tag us with Rock the Reticle uh, before the end of the year to get your to enter uh, and, and win. So. Uh, oh yeah, and go to loophole.com backslash rock the reticle. So that's where on the website you're gonna wanna go uh, to get that, that information and get your free sticker. I mean, at, at any rate, you can get a free sticker, right? Absolutely. So uh, that never hurt. Um, anyways, thanks everyone for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, Janos, for you, covering uh, kind of the gift guide for this year. Happy and Thanksgiving. And yeah, happy Thanksgiving. And happy it's, holidays. It's already, it's already next, <laughs> next week, I can't believe it. So yeah, happy, happy holidays to you guys too. And uh, we'll definitely see you before the end of the year here. So uh, till next time, we'll see you. Thank you.